Hi, my name is Tori Crenshaw, and for my tip this semester, I'm going to Benton Central High School in an English classroom. And the classroom environment of the class that I'm in, um, it doesn't have any class bookshelf or library, which I thought was pretty interesting considering most English teachers have a classroom library of some sorts. There's only a couple bookshelves and they were just filled with um, like decorative um, vintage books and signs and stuff like that. And the classroom was also beige, brown, nothing colorful and hardly anything personal decorations. There wasn't a single picture on my teacher's desk. The only thing that was personal was a couple, high, like the high school graduation, a couple awards of my teacher, but that's it. And for the tables, there's five tables with four chairs at each table and there was no desks. So I thought that was pretty interesting that it was just tables. For the students, um, they were mostly white. There's, I would say one or three students who are not white in each class. And there's also an average of around 20 students in each class because they have a classroom cap. So I thought that was interesting. And then the students speak English and my teacher has one ELL in all her classes. There's only one ELL. Um, all the students were able-bodied and one class that I'm in has seven students with IEPs, but most of the classes have only one or two students with IEPs. There's also, in the school in general and in my classes, a lot of the students are professors from Purdue's kids, and around 40% was free and reduced lunch, and my teacher was telling me how she helps out with the need in the area. And for instructional techniques, my teacher did a lot of gradual release. So the I do, we do, you do model. And she did this with ethos, logos, and pathos. So she had an example on the board and she talked through how she would write a request using ethos, logos, and pathos to the prompt. And then she did another one where she talked about it with the students. And so she would have them answer how they would use ethos, how they would use logos and so they did it as a class and then their assignment was to do the activity by themselves where they had a couple scenarios that they had a write request to such as ask your parents to buy a car and they had to use ethos logos and pathos so then they did it by themselves and the students in addition to that they got plenty of work time so most of the time it was just work time i think the instructional time was only around like 20 minutes of the whole class period and they had 50 minute class period so they had good half hour to work and all the classes had a lot of time to just work and then it was also very project based in one of the classes they did a rehugo project so they had to pick a controversial topic and find a book that related to it they also talked about entertainment related to it history and put that together so that was a very work on your own project that they went to the library for and then for writing and develop reading and writing development as I was saying, they had to read books that related to their controversy for the Rehugo project. So that was how reading was supported. In another one of the classes, they had a quiz where they had reading passages, poems, and then one short story, and they had to answer questions about it. So I assume that they learned about, my teacher was talking to me about how they learned how to analyze poetry, and then that was their quiz for it. They also, for writing, they had to write arguments with ethos, logos, and pathos, as I was talking about, through my teacher's gradual release model. And then, as I was talking about the poems, my host teacher was talking to me about how they talked about patterns such as repetition and rhyme scheme and what that meant for poems, so that when they got a new poem, they were able to correlate, okay, this poem has this sort of rhyme scheme or it has this meter, and they were able to understand the meaning through those patterns. And then for motivation and literacy development, for the Rehugo project, they were able to choose any controversy they wanted. And so being able to choose their topic made them more motivated to do the project and the literacy involved, which is the book, and then writing the final paper and presentation. And then also my teacher, so the school has no curriculum. So my teacher is able to pick text that in activities that motivate them, that make them interested and want to learn. 
for how the students are motivated, my teacher creates a really strong relationship with her students. She told me that if she got, if she didn't get paid, she would just talk to them for free. Like she would not care if she didn't get paid, if she just got to talk to them. So because of that, the students really like her as a teacher and they want to do her work well and are involved and they are very motivated in her class.